and that's the driver of the number 23, Bubba Wallace. Bubba, um, obviously coming coming into this weekend, uh, need to make up some ground, check the first box with this poll win. Talk about how much confidence this gives you going into tomorrow night. Yeah, um, it's like I told Lee, I think, you know, you looked at um, us coming in and, you know, being on the bubble, 21 points out, ton of pressure, right? Well, I think the pressure just switched, so we're uh, we're not here to mess around. I, I showed up with uh, a more open and calm demeanor, more free and relaxing demeanor, but at the same time, I don't want to be messed with. Um, so it's a, it's a fine balance. You got to walk. So just uh, appreciate the team. You know, we we unloaded. We 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 did we did some changes um, to the car like in the spring race and. And it just wouldn't give me the right read going into qualifying. So I told Booty, hey, I need to be this to have a good qualifying lap. And here we are. So um, just everybody on the 23 car, uh, everybody back at airspeed, both cars, just showing up with speed at, at, at Darlington for the Southern 500 is, is super cool. I've, I've been close here, um, I think, once or twice in qualifying. So to finally pull it out, it's like, finally, we got it. So um, with all that being said, you know the elephant in the room tomorrow is a whole different day um and uh, i'm excited to uh to see what what tomorrow offers okay if you have a question for bubba raise your hand we'll get your mic we'll start up here to holly and then go to kelly yep holly kane with the nascar wire service you you kind of just mentioned this but what kind of confidence does that give you that this was the first box you needed to tick and you you did it and and looking ahead i mean this has got to be exactly as you said how you wanted to start the weekend but saying it and doing it are two different things and you did it yeah for sure uh to be honest with you i was pretty pissed off after practice and not being on the top that's i set the expectations pretty high and i was like we were sixth i was like god almighty all right i wanted to make a statement and I didn't do that, so I had to had to make that up in qualifying. So uh, you know, it's 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 good to be where we're at. It's 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 so hard at this level, right? Um, Seventeen, I don't know where he qualified. He's top ten, um, but there's no free lunch. You know, it's that's one of Booty's many sayings, one of his favorites. You know, every change you make or everything you do, there's no free lunch. There's nothing guaranteed on the other side. So um, I said that. I said this couple weeks ago I think after Richmond you know it's going to be a dog fight uh to the very end and I think that's what that's what makes us drivers all great is we we are excited to show up and compete and put it all on the line for our team our sponsors our, our people that are working on these cars and um we get to do that tomorrow here in Darlington so um yeah the confidence is there uh you know I get to get humbled here in the next couple hours going back to race legend car tonight against Keelan so yeah I'll tell him I got a Southern 500 poll. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Kelly Crandall, racer.com. Boa, um, you've started eighth or better, I think, now in five of your last six starts here. You're working on four straight top tens. Is there a feel or, or a rhythm here that you feel like you've started to pick up on of – uh, of what has made you most so successful recently? Hell no. I pounded off the fence round one and two. Uh, it just so happened to work. Um, it's it's this sport is where we're at now is so data driven, and um, you know Denny talks about that a lot. You know how much we dive into data, and, and it took me a while to just get on board with that. But knowing how much vital information there is inside of all that data, now you can get you know a little too much into the weeds, and so you have to kind of pick and pick and choose. But we've we've been really good here in qualifying. And we've also given up a really good race car, which trying too hard from what I'm hearing from data and just not getting back to the basics. So today, um, I've determined that Darlington's probably one of the, if not the hardest place to qualify. Uh, just the way you have to approach practice to qualify and trim, it's, it's totally different. You know, for example, Kansas, the first couple laps in practice, you're damn near wide open. Qualifying, you're wide open. So it's close. Here, you're finessing it in practice, and then it's like, hey, Good luck. So uh, it, it's all goes back to Jr. John Vining, uh, our analytics group. They uh, they do a really good job of feeding us the right information to to translate that to on track performance. I did want to ask. So the run or the lap in the first round, what was the battle between the head and the throttle pedal there of, <laughs> of keeping your foot in it? So I'm I'm sitting there and and uh, I I remember. Um, coming here a year ago right uh a year ago and we were pretty good in practice and jr's like hey 
you need to be deeper on entry. And I'm like, okay. I went out and qualified, and I said, here's deeper. We were 18th or whatever. And it's like, it's not what I meant. So you, you have to understand and you have to dive into what that actually means. And, uh, and we came here in the spring, and my car was okay, and I, I made a move to the bottom in three and four, not the bottom, but the middle, and that gave up our pole time. So here we had a goal of make sure you run the fence in three and four. And I looked up right before I qualified, I looked at an email from our, our analytics stuff, and I said, okay, I got on the gas right here um, in the spring. So I'm going to do that. It's a little bit hotter, a little bit hotter. Track temps up, grips not like it is in the spring, and it caught me by surprise. So um, it's uh, it's tough. It's tough to, to go out. I mean, Larson ran a 43, 44, I don't know. It was close, right? Um, and so I thought I definitely gave some up, uh, especially through one and two on the second round. Um, but the first round was mwah, just perfect. Bob? Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. With you starting first and Busher starting 10th, does that give you any thought of, okay, I'm, there is a chance to gain enough stage points to make it a battle on points? Oh, I mean, yeah. Uh, anything can happen. Uh, we've seen uh, – look at last week, right? Uh, anything can happen. So um, we, we have to run our own race. It makes it a lot easier for us uh, having that first pit stall. Uh, you know, if, as long as we execute and, and make the right calls, you know, do great on pit road, then, you know, all all I want is every single person a part of this team, including myself, is to go to bed tomorrow night saying we did whatever we could. We did all we could. And maybe it was good enough, maybe it wasn't. So that's a, that's a lottery ticket we'll find out tomorrow after the race. And is racing a Legends car part of doing all that you can, or is that just to try to avoid distraction and just clear your head? Hell, I got my ass kicked. You were there, Bob. Yeah. Uh, it was bad. I didn't need you to confirm that. but. Um, <laughs> No, I've 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 loved racing legend cars. Um, I, I haven't been in one in over five years, and it's totally different now. And it's more frustrating uh, of not being able to jump back into it and, and being as competitive and successful as I was. Um, but on the other side of that, you know, I'm a competitor. I'll, I'll make anything a competition, right? I bet I can write a better article than you. So, you know, that's it's just a competition thing. Don't take that. It's, it's kind of a joke. I know I can't, but I'm going to make a competition. Um, but it's just that that side of it is competing and, and having fun with it all and, and, you know, being around the kids there. And, you know, it was funny. We were talking about qualifying in the legend car, and I said, y'all ain't got nothing on qualifying in Darlington. And I was giving them just a little flavor of, you know, the difference between groups and what you have to do in the car. And I'm glad I told them somewhat of the truth because it ended up working out today. But just just going over there to race legend cars to have fun. Claire, when's our riding competition going to happen? Whenever our photo competition. Aha! Okay, fair. Notice how he didn't say driving because he's already lost on that one. <laughs> 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 hey, you never know. Claire B. Lang, what's it like to race Keelan Harvick and coached by his dad and? Can you also talk about how good he is or what you see in him? Yeah, you know, he's competitive, he's fast, he's he's a sponge. He he um he's a he's a cool little kid. All the kids over there with, with Joe Ryan, uh he's got a good group of, of kids driving for him and you know, me popping over there as the elder statesman, I'm I'm telling them all what not to do because I've been in their shoes and uh every single one of them is competitive. Uh you got Kits Miller over there. Uh it's uh, it's cool to see, you know. And as much as it sucks running fourth and fifth to your teammates like that, it's 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 cool to see. Like, it's cool to go back to uh, being in those in that position when I was just a kid and figuring out like Darlington feels like Day or um, Florence feels like Daytona to them. You know, I remember showing up to the tracks in a legend car and you're like, this is way too big, right? And the speed just gets faster and faster. But uh, Keelan does a great job. Obviously, the Harvick family, Kevin and Delana being there, Piper's there as well. Um, it's uh, it's really really cool. So excited to uh, go over there tonight. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, be humbled very quick. Hopefully we got it we got it dialed in. So uh, we'll see. All in all, having fun. Thank you. <laughs> Any final questions for Bubba? We'll end over here with Chris. Chris Weaver, Fox Eight High Point. Bubba, uh, I'm talking about going and racing other places like Florence. Well, the, you're going to start next season at Bowman Gray, a place where you've run in the K&N Series a couple of times. I think you finished sixth and second there. 
when you think about that and, and you think back on those experience, that experience at Bowman Gray and how those races went, what do you expect on February the 2nd at Bowman Gray Stadium when y'all show up? Ooh. Well, hopefully, that's for the clash, right? Yeah. That was obvious when they said they purchased a few months ago. Everybody knew that. I don't know why they waited on announcing that. Um, but, man, driver intros for Bubba Wallace is going to be incredible there. I can't wait. <laughs> passionate crowd there so it'll be fun uh it'll be it'll be wild i'm glad we're not flying out four hours out west coast you know um somehow some way they're going to count that as an off weekend because we're only in winston-salem so hmm. we'll see congratulations bubba Thanks, good luck guys. tomorrow i appreciate it toyota air force airspeed all that yep Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos. And if you like us, make sure to hit that subscribe button.